If you were thinking for the first and second quarter of 2021, the highest sold vehicle in the hybrid class for a Toyota was going to be some sort of a Prius or maybe the RAV4 hybrid, which is extremely popular. No, you're looking at it right here. It is the 2021 Toyota Sienna hybrid as they only come in a hybrid model. So I'm going to go over as much as I could tell you about this vehicle. I have reviewed an XSE when it first came out, but I have not reviewed uh, this model, which is a Platinum. So this is the most fully loaded version of the vehicle. So let's start off in the front here. I did just do the LED headlights and the LED fog lights. Well, let's take a good look at those uh, while I'm at it here. So uh, you have a little bit of LED access trims, and then you have your high beams and low beams, and below we have an LED fog light. Uh, sort of that uh, kind of whale... Uh, I don't know what you call that, but it sort of reminds you of a whale there with the uh, the front of the grill. Um, underneath that, there is a camera system in here. This has bird's eye camera system, so we have cameras all around this vehicle. Uh, there's two under each mirror, uh, side mirrors. There's uh, one in the back and one in the front. And this does have parking sonar here. Uh, coming up to this uh, badge here, when you see blue, that is green for Toyota. That means it is some sort of an electrified vehicle uh, going up to the windshield there we have our camera systems and uh, that is for our lane trace assistance uh, uh, we'll have our adaptive cruise control smart stop all that's part of that and one thing i was kind of a bit surprised is you just get a standard sunroof on this and not a panoramic sunroof on this platinum just this one does come with the roof rails and roof raft crossbars that is an optional feature. You can not have those on all vehicles, but you could get that in your accessories from your Toyota parts department. Moving over to the uh, side of the vehicle, we're going to come down and take a look. I love these rims. They're very attractive sitting on the Bridgestone tires there. I'm going to try to get a close-up of this here. Uh, there is a edge to this here. These are metal, um, but if they were to be scuffed, um, and skinned up pretty badly you could pop that off and replace that instead of having to replace the entire rim if you really curved it real bad we do have uh, turn signal indicators in our mirrors here so uh, uh, that's great for merging in especially getting on the highway uh, we got let me just go over to some of the, the extra features everything on the le this left side is standard equipment every one of them is going to get the same exact thing this is a four-cylinder with electric motors combined uh, horsepower is 245 and the fuel mileage on this one being it's a hybrid 35 miles on average 35 city so 36 highway if it's just a front wheel drive it'd be 36 combined uh, let's get into here so we have rear seat entertainment systems in this one here 1080p uh, entertainment center 11.6 inch screen for that uh, 1500 watt inverters we'll have two of those we're going to have one in the rear of the vehicle and one in the middle row of the vehicle hit there uh, also this has the uh, digital mirror view rear camera with home link i'll go over that when we're inside uh, universal transceiver uh, temporary spare tire uh, is in this one here all weather floor liners those crossbars as i spoke of earlier um, and wheel locks are on this one here they do come with uh, blind spot monitors in uh, in these mirrors here this is a proximity key uh, so this has a lot of different features I could lock the car with my fingers here by pushing the uh, notch on the door I just locked it if I want to open it I'm gonna grab the handle and, and it's just gonna unlock very simple let's go ahead and take a look at the passenger side uh, that cloth there is to clean off my uh, camera there so I don't have any blurry pictures but I use in the uh, I'm not sure this is natural leathers I imagine this is synthetic soft uh material here uh, this is only a uh, six-way power it doesn't have up and down lift here I wish they would do better than that but I do like the materials the soft uh, here there is hard plastics and then this kind of faux wood grain look and then this uh, this center console is known as a floating center console. Interesting with this wood grain, uh, but you're going to get lots of cup holders and things like that. So you got two there, you got two more there. We have a center console there with more USBs in, in there. We got USB C and regular USB in there uh, available to you. 
um, and then to lots of lots of cubby storage we get a glove box with more storage in there uh, so then we got heated ventilated front seats so I will go over that stuff when we go inside uh, just kind of just giving you a little bit of the look of what it looks like from here so there's a variety of different ways to open up the uh, two rear doors and the uh, back hatch there's a key fob with these uh, symbols there where it says hold hold that for three seconds that's going to open up any of those three doors you also have a foot kick thing down here so if you don't want to dig that key out of your pocket or purse you just uh, come up and then boom opens right up so easy uh, one of the cool things about this is the massive amount of leg room you could get from one of these uh, seats being all the way in back to the uh, very back look at that oh my gosh like I I'm six foot two <laughs> And I can like I can't even touch the I can't even touch the front seat. That's how far back it is. So let's go also over some of the uh, features inside here. We have heated seats up there. Um, uh, this has your climate controls. This is actually a, a his and hers uh, climate control. So you really have four climate controls. Only the rear is not going to have their own climate controls there and then we have a 15 inch dvd blu-ray hd screen available with the rear entertainment air vents are on top here let's show you for the babies we have uh, uh manual shades there which is really nice uh for so they don't get blinded by the sun while you're driving sound system in this thing it's incredible i'll go over that we have the most powerful inverters in Toyota world in here. We have a 1500 watt power inverter for regular power HDMI port there for uh, you know, a laptop or DVD player, uh, a, con a game console. USB uh, and USB-C are available to this. And again, nobody's got this much room in the business. This this will be cool for a long trip for uh, somebody that's tall that has to ride in the back. Um, and let's just kind of give you a good look of the uh, front there. This is ginormous in here. Just lots and lots and lots and lots of room and creature comforts. This van is cool for a minivan. You just can't see all the stuff this has. So let's go ahead and move forward in, or move back to the uh, and look at some of the other stuff. Let's show you how this closes with the... Uh, uh, with the button this time, so let's pull this out. Three seconds, and boom, there you go. Uh, and I want to give you a good look at these roof rack crossbars. Usually, Toyota is good for about 300 pounds combined for that, so could put a roof rack uh, a tent. That's becoming very popular now to do that. In the back, we're going to have our badging and things like that so we have our platinum hybrid on the other side this is all-wheel drive you're going to see our sienna logo there windshield uh, rear windshield wiper there we have our reverse camera and then we have our back uh, our our rear view mirror becomes a whole monitor i will go over that so if heads and things and bags you're on a trip and there's everything blocking you won't be able to see that so let's go ahead and just use the fob to open up our lift gate everything comes open now I'm not gonna mess with these seats uh, but they fold into this trough where we have our all-weather mats in here um, and then in here is where we have our our two two pairs of wireless headphones so you have more passengers you could get those from our parts department uh, we also have plug-ins for the rear passengers on the full rear passengers on the back so they could plug in and get sound and the USB. We have our our 1500 watt back here again. Boy, this could make a great camping van, like with all the features it has available to it. Um, I want another way to close this thing, other than the fob and the kick thing, is the button right here. It's known as the umbrella lift gate. Just kind of give you a good look at what's going on here. Um, I remember green was a really popular color back in the 90s you know things always recycle again uh, you know it's, uh, I kind of like it but you know it's kind of I would say this is more of a color a man's gonna like is this green color but uh, I think it looks sharp I think it looks real nice there 
Uh, we got some body side molding on the bottom in the black. I think everything ties in really nice, especially against this dark green. Uh, a little bit of chrome in there because it's platinum level. You're going to see that with limited and platinum. That's pretty typical of Toyota. Again, we got the foot kicks and three doors and, uh, and, and uh, three power doors. Uh, again, we're going to have heated mirrors and blind spot monitoring. Let's go ahead and go into the inside. Let's go over everything in here. So uh, this has bottle holders and cup holders. You're really thirsty. We got two there and four there. So if you're just by yourself, hey, that's six drinks. So you got got plenty of refreshments for you. Um, we have uh, this looks like this we do have uh, power folding mirrors that's what that is there so auto folding mirrors will be on this thing when it's uh, turned off so let me see if I could do that when I close it let me see if I lock it now it should auto fold these mirrors there we go it's closing up the thing now you don't get your mirrors clipped and when you're uh, uh, in a parking spot so that's a nice feature actually that's usually some of the things you see to upgrade it um, you have your power door off button right there, fill uh, button. Uh, these are uh, some of the Toyota safety sense and some of the creature comfort features in this. Here we have our AC 120 volt for that 1500 watt button. That vehicle has to be running our, our bird's eye camera, our heated windshield wipers. We have memory sets for two drivers. This also is power, power telescopic steering in this one here. And then we have a 10 way power with power lumbar in this here. And then these vents down here are the cool to hybrid battery down. Just so you know what those are, we do have another 12 volt power here, but look at all that storage down there. Just so great for, this is so well thought out for the family here. Just incredibly thought out. Uh, definitely, I say with well, this is definitely appealing to the man because browns and greens are more, uh, you know, more masculine, I would say. It's going to appeal to more men than women, but hey, they come in a bunch of different colors. Uh, this is just the one we got this time. Uh, let's go ahead and get inside there. Um, close it up. It's going to remember uh, once I turn it on uh, that where, where I had it at. And steering wheel's coming down and pushing me up to a spot. And then you, then the Sienna is going to tell you hello. So pretty neat here. Let's go ahead and start her up. When you're uh, turn this down here. When you uh, get in a hybrid, they don't fire up and they don't need to because they have. Uh, charge on a hybrid battery all you're going to see is this ready let me turn the air down so we don't get that all in the mic and uh, distort the sound and all that so we're looking at four climate controls again um, quite a bit of features and stuff so I'm going to go over I'm let me get this steering wheel close so I want to go over everything in this uh, driver's information center it does have HUD so this is holograms it's going to read off uh, I can get that to zoom in it's having a hard time but it's going to give us comes coordinates it's going to give us miles per hour it's going to give us our 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 eco monitor there if we're staying in the best fuel economy it should read also speed limits too and display that in that in that heads up display there uh, we have all kinds of pickup mics for the your Bluetooth and stuff. So you're, when you're talking to people, you're in uh, on the phone. They're going to get a very clear uh, voice of you, and it's not going to sound like you're talking down a cave. Even your front passenger is going to get that too. So, again, they're thinking about a lot of different things in this van. Uh, let's go to the first screen. This is known as our Eco Screen. It's going to give us our digital miles per hour. Feel the empty, but it does more than that. We're going to get our uh, fuel economy it doesn't have any miles on it's four miles on this van so it doesn't have really a fuel economy at this point uh, and we have our, our this is our um, this is basically our eco score so you could uh, you could like basically challenge yourself every time you get in it if you're trying to maximize your fill mileage and hyper mileage my mom has a Highlander which is in the same uh, fuel mileage as this um, and she likes to uh, challenge herself to how good a fuel economy she gets she's gotten up to 44 miles a gallon in her highlander and they both rate on the uh, minroni sticker is the same fuel economy so that's pretty neat if you really are into uh hyper myelin and trying to get the best fuel economy you try to beat my mom she's got 44 miles a gallon in her in her highlander it's only rated to 35 or 36 uh and then back to the digital miles an hour this is our uh compass coordinates in uh in, in it should have also our lane departure alerts um and it also does lane trace assistance i have a video on that uh, so driving down the road it will uh 
uh, in cruise control it basically will still self steer for you always you got to have is a hand on the steering wheel uh, I know there's some other others out there that are a little better than that um, that, that there's a, a thing up here looking at your face and you really don't have to hold the steering wheel hopefully Toto will get to that but it's gonna alert you if you're leaving your lane try to strike slightly steer correct you when in cruise control and it's gonna lane trace for you so that's a nice feature um, we also have uh, cruise control with uh, adaptive cruise control so the bars there are for three seconds of pace in two sec two and a half seconds and two seconds so uh, you, you'll slow down automatically and it will lane trace for you in, in cruise control uh, let's head over to this screen so we have our Sirius XM radio I'm going to just demonstrate that the sound system in this is incredible so I mean I imagine surround sound movies is going to be so neat in this thing um, but that's available in here um, and this is our like basically our given us our charge and how the uh, battery is giving us uh, uh, power to the uh, electric motors and the engines making power and all that so that will show you all that stuff there uh, and it's going to give you PSI for each tire uh, then uh, all your uh, Toyota safety senses in this in here uh, and then this gives you your all-wheel drive traction control it shows you how much traction you're getting on each one of these wheels and then this has all of our Toyota safety sense that is available to this vehicle this is the full 2.5 plus so we have our lane departure and uh, uh, steer uh, steer correction with our lane trace assistance we have our pre-collision speeds up to 110 miles an hour the vehicle is going to go into a brake mode and brake by 30 miles an hour it feels like you're going to collide with another vehicle it does the same with pedestrians and cyclists up to speeds of 50 miles an hour uh, we have our uh, blind spot monitors which I featured uh, when I was outside the vehicle parking sonar is on the front and back so it's going to beep at you if you're getting too close to something rear cross traffic alert that's a neat button so uh, as you're backing out that sonar seeing around the corner for you and it's going to start audibly beeping in the vehicle and flashing in one of your mirrors what direction something's coming from a person walking to a car uh, driving through the parking lot uh, this has rear stop smart stop too so it knows if you're gonna uh, you make a, a back into something it's gonna stop before it that happens um, and then we have our heads up display which is what I was showing you a second ago it's kinda hard for me to get this in the daytime um, but there's that hologram there this reads your speed limits um, and then we have our rear cross traffic uh, uh, display button there so lots of Toyota safe sense no messages if there was a problem with this vehicle it's going to tell you what's going on with this vehicle it would make leave uh, tell, tell you if it had a charging issue or whatever other issue it may happen and and display it on a screen that will become your only screen if that happens also it, it we Toyota combines analog analog gauges with the with the modern gauges with the digital gauges so it's not all 100 percent digital uh, we have a I don't I say that it's a 10 inch infotainment so that's your biggest that is offered in in a Sienna uh, and it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto available to it so let's go over to uh, menu uh, this should have uh, this is where the project button is for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, you could also do your climate control through here um, I don't know if it has the eco here it is let's see if this will do all in color show you how everything's getting its uh, uh, getting its power from the hybrid battery and the electric and the engine electric motors and all that so we have electric motor here and here um, so that's going to give you all that information uh, when you're driving uh, quite quick in, on the acceleration we have HD weather and traffic where available it's not available in my market but in metros it, it will be uh, so that's a nice feature uh, so uh, well, maybe it does work here. Maybe we got an HD now. Looks like we do have that. So we didn't have it in the past. It looks like maybe we do now. Uh, it'll have integrated maps on this here with uh, that update by satellite. So no more hard chip. But you could also get your Waze maps and Google maps or your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto all available in this here. We have our uh, home screen up here. So this is what we call a three panel when your phone's plugged into this here. When your phone's connected, this will... Uh, show you the Toyota way of being in it when most people are going to want to use those two formats Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and then that will be part be the screen instead of this screen um, and uh, let's go ahead and 
listen to this booming sound system because it is a big system for a Toyota. I tell you I told you that it was good it is really good it is impressively good that's so good um, let's carry on here along with this uh, floating center console this is our primary USB for our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto right there um, they have something on Amazon known as a dongle which you could get, get that for Apple CarPlay and, and make your Apple CarPlay wireless hopefully Toyota will start doing that to their vehicle soon uh, this is our Qi wireless or wireless charging pad for our cell phone here. We're on an 8-speed transmission um, and it is sequentially, it could be sequentially shifted. Well, they think it is a CVT, but it mimics the having gears, so it does sequentially shift. Um, so, let me see. Oh, 6-speed sequential. And also the mirrors are moving too. When you, we, we put it in reverse, the mirrors are tilting down too. So that's a nice feature. Some I've only really seen the Sequoias and in the high-end tundras um, didn't know that I did that so and then all these here to keep your electronics uh, coming down here we have a, a, a emergency brake that auto sets itself so it will uh, just put it in park it's gonna set put it in reverse or drive it's gonna go ahead and and release itself automatically it doesn't have to get turned on and off drive modes will have a, uh, a normal a sport and eco sport will change the shift points, tighten up your steering, stiffen your suspension. It's great for mountain driving or just getting zippy on the freeway electrical vehicle mode. Really this doesn't have a, a, a full range electric like a higher, like a Tesla or, or the uh, Primes that Toyota does. But on crawl modes with a full charge you might go up to two miles on a charge. Like let's say you're cruising up to the toll plaza at the at the Bay Bridge or one of these bridges uh, wherever you live and that would be a feature. Brake hold when that's on and then you come to a police stop you take your foot off the brake I would like to call that more like a hill start assist and then and we so right there there's that sport mode it will tell you that it turns sport and turns red normal and eco so those are all there I'm closing this we have a cup holder but then we have a place for it to store our cell phone and then we have a deep pocket with USB C and standard USB in here, um, all part of this vehicle. Let's go ahead and go up to the top. We have our our rear view mirror with our garage door memory links here. But then remember, I told you there's another camera. There's a fifth camera that's in this one here. So if I flip this lever back here, it turns into a TV screen. Now we got a four nice forerunner behind us there. Um, so if you have heads and everything like cargo back there. Then you have a way to see out your uh, your rear that without with, with everything blocked in the in the uh, back window. There are nice features. Uh, we have um, our power doors again, so lots of ways to get into these power doors. We got LED reading lights on here uh, for uh, for the front here. So I don't know if they do it for the sides, but uh, or the back passengers. But we do at least have that. And then of course. Uh, uh, we have a moonroof and sunroof. I'm not going to open this up. But it just we know how those things work. Uh, and then there's a special button in here. It's known as the SOS button. The SOS button uh, is for emergency services. If airbags deploy, uh, uh, this will alert the call center to be reaching out to you. They will know how fast you were going. They will know your GPS coordinates. So if you're non-responsive. They could uh, relay that information to uh, emergency personnel. Uh, for a trial subscriptions, you have a remote start that can be done from the key or from an app on your phone that lasts for six months. And then there's a subscription to that. And then there's stolen vehicle locator and roadside assistance. Those are annual subscriptions. But, but the emergency services of you uh, uh, will always work. You do not have to pay for that at all. And we got our... And we got our mirrors here with light of light of vanity mirrors. They could have gone LED in that, I think, but you know, you can save some money somewhere. And yes, these slide across here, which I would have thought they would have did. Uh, we do have some hard materials, but we do have soft touch materials along with the hard materials on here. 
uh, let's just get, take a look at everything here just just a well laid out uh, van with so many great things in here uh, you just can't go wrong with this here it's just gonna you know the money alone you're gonna save on this there's no van that does this kind of fill mileage at all not even close and we have so. our climate controls uh, for the front and the uh, uh, the center has their own climate controls, his and hers. So there's actually four climate zones in there. The final, the furthest rear does not get their own cl climate controls, unfortunately. But they do get some features that's not been in Toyota World. So we have our heated and ventilated seats here. And I think you have those on, and it's, what, 100 degrees out here or close to it, right at 100 exactly. Uh, we have uh, front defrost, rear defrost, AC on, inside, outside air. If this button's on, you're forcing all the air on the fr front passengers. And then this, again, is here for the um, the, the passenger there for heat and ventilated seats. We're going to have a sink for all the all the zones um, so the, that the uh, master control, which is the drivers, would control everything. We have our fan speeds here. Uh, rear climate has to be turned on to uh, to have for them to use it. And then we have modes, which is your, uh, your flows and all that. And... Uh, so that's all that there. Again, I'm Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota Redding. What an amazing van. I would say this is the top van of the market right now because of being a hybrid. Yeah, there's a lot of bells and whistles and this and that out there. Nobody's getting this kind of fuel economy. Not even close. So this is, and also the reliability and resale this, uh, of this van is, is, is something else. Um, man, I, I just can't say enough about all the features and stuff it, it does have a pretty st steep msrp for this one this one is trying to read that backwards it looks like fifty four thousand and eleven dollars now that's not that's before any store discounts or, or uh, manufacturers rebates that would be applied to that uh the the base price of one of these is right around thirty five thousand so you, you need the van you need the fuel economy it is about twenty thousand dollars less on the base model of the LE on this, so you know, don't be afraid by that price because the thirty-five K is uh, you know pretty reasonable for everything you're getting, and to just also think about the uh, fuel economy you're going to get in that, and also think about the reliability of this vehicle. Now, the Toyotas have the best reliability of all manufacturers. Uh, there's no question about that. These things are stupid reliable. And, I, you know, if you're looking for a great van, uh, looking for that economy, looking for those features, I'm in it. Again, I want to thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.